it's much easier if you have somebody else here. Uh, it's more interesting. So it's most chill. It's much easier to do it with two people than alone. Good to see you. He doesn't, just doesn't like how I'm driving. He doesn't like it. He's scaring too much, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear. So how are things up north? Pretty wet? No. Same as down here, really. Same down here. We've had a... Wow. The last four, five days of frost or something, but prior to that we just had wet, really. Very wet. Oh, we had seriously wet in two weeks where it didn't pour out. So. We haven't had any snow to speak of at all, have we? This winter, no. It's been very... In mild wet and a few frosts recently. Mm. Single sort of. You told us what happened to the cow use last year, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I found some of them already. Found some already. You recognise them? Yeah, there's one with tits about that long this morning. They got sheared before they were sorted. Mm. <laughs> so we have a new system. We have a black tag them. Do yeah. mm. yeah, we have one? No. Anyway, well, I've been mowing the grass. It's like a time. bloody cow. Yeah. Not long. I'm sure I recognise it from last year. <laughs> How does cattle? As David opinion, David it is. It is. <laughs> it is. We better have a sweepstake as to when it's going to give birth. We better hang on to it. For it a bit should now. be do, um, month time, I think. So. Month time. When we did those rigs in uh, end of May or in the middle of May? Uh, May. So it, it was in the May. Then February. In the February, it could be the end of February, yeah. yeah. A month, month, then. Oh, you think it was one of the rigs that got it pregnant? Yeah. Not the bull. Yeah. It hasn't had contact with the bull. No. Right? That's been a long time. Has it? How many rigs do we have in there, Bruno? Six. On the moment? No, last year. Oh, it's six yeah. to deal with. Yeah. Plus the one we sent to market. Yeah. We've taken to sending all the dams and oh, beef direct to the slaughterhouse, and it's been much better. Just take two at a time.
time and then take you know, 20 lambs or whatever. And it's been much better. When you start doing that about the orphan, when I got fed up with Mike, they gave away this prize rig. It was a really good beast. They gave it away for 300 pounds. Lying down in the far corner, in the corner there. <coughs> that doesn't look crowded at all. Yeah. Farm's been in the family for 45 years. Um, yeah, 40, 45 years. Um, we arrived in 1963, a very severe winter of 1963. And um, they were a slightly smaller family than we were. There were only five of us, five children that is. And um, the farm when we arrived here was a, almost derelict. Um, it was a very stiff winter, we arrived here, and there were a few extremely thin cows wandering around. There was a lot of chickens wandering around. Um, the machinery was um, very, very basic, and quite a lot of it was derelict. Um, there was a tame fox chained up in the front garden of the house. The uh, wild stock of the farm, like muscovy ducks and geese and chickens, were wandering around in and out of the house as well. Um, house and farm were all one, really. And uh, the whole of the back of the house had to be knocked down. It was beyond repair and had to be knocked down and rebuilt when we arrived. So we lived actually in one of the cottages at the top of the road, one of the farm cottages next to Fred. We lived up there, all of us, um, for the first year or so. And um, then we came down here, and my father gradually started changing things. And the first really big change he made was. Um, draining and levelling the marshland, right down by the sea wall which you've been to earlier. Um, there's a large, our biggest marshes down there um, were all just saltings, but dry saltings now since the sea wall was built. And um, he got to organise the levelling and the draining of them and turned them into arable land. Um, so it almost doubled the arable, usable you know, part of the land. And now of course the economy has changed and you know, we're not very weak down there anymore, but we did for many, many years. Um, yeah, so it's, a, it's only first generation, well, sort of second generation now, um, but it feels like quite a long time. And we grew up here, so it's you know, quite close to our heart. How old are those two? Mm. At least it's um, it should be today morning. What about you? Yeah, it's what's really mad. Oh, you had another block on the top here, did you? Yeah, they have. And it kicked it off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all we've made. Sometimes I'm feeling that I'm part of his family, but at the same time I have to think that I'm not because I'm still basically immigrant. I'm game in. So, it's half time it's just a job, half time it's like a family. It's a little feeling because when I'm coming back from some holiday and um, it feels to coming here I feel mm, it's it's a good place to be.